Hello friends and welcome to Figure Study, where I'm back with more Sentai stuff, though this is the last of the Sentai stuff, for now. That's probably bound to change in the future at some point. But yes, the last of the Sentai stuff that I've got to look at currently, and that is the DX version of Datus Hyper from Gosager. And this goofy little thing I actually have had my eye on for a while because uh, I think I mentioned this a while back. I forget what video it was for, but I have developed kind of a soft spot for goofy looking things or unassuming things that turn into surprisingly awesome robots. Data's Hyper I've had my eye on for a while because I love the fact that it's like this kind of arcade machine thing that turns into a robot that then turns into another robot. I don't really have much interest in the rest of the Gosager stuff, but yeah, Data's very interesting. Now to start with, let's take a quick look at the header. I think that's what these are called. And it's some kind of torpedo shark fish thing, I think. Because you've got these little kind of fins on the side there. What could be a fin going up across the top? Little eyes, possibly a mouth. I don't know if that's supposed to be a mouth or not. And then when you split it open, you get this kind of cannon thing. And there are also smaller cannons on the inside there. I'm not sure exactly, like I haven't seen the show, I don't know what this weapon thing does, but it looks like it's probably can do some damage. I'm also kind of feeling like it'd be nice if those were silver, but then you'd only really see it in this mode and not the other modes anyway, so it'd be kind of silly. But yeah, uh, that's that. It has little wheels, so it rolls a little bit. Not great, but it does roll a little bit. And that is it for the header. And that we will not be looking at until the end of the video. <laughs> Datus Hyper's arcade cabinet mode is just this goofy looking little arcade cabinet thing. Unfortunately, um, I have the Korean version, not the Japanese version, because the Japanese version was way more expensive at this point, and I was not willing to pay that kind of money for this thing. So it only came with a handful of cards, and none of them actually have the proper uh, display thing that you get for the Japanese version that makes it look more like an arcade machine. So I've just kind of taken the card for the header and stuck it in there because that's really all I can do. It's uh, it's unfortunate, but it's fine. I don't really have them displayed in this mode that often, but I do think it's fun. There is some nice ornate detailing along the bottom there with this fantastic silver and gold combination blue trim around there, and I'm just now noticing that this makes a down arrow pointing to what I'm sure is some kind of prize window, where like, when you do whatever it is you need to do to win a prize, the prize pops up down there and then you just retrieve it from there. So that's kind of fun. And there's a little dial you can turn. I don't have batteries in this guy, unfortunately, so I can't do the sounds, but you turn the dial to make the sounds. There's a little on-off switch, and of course the dial has the different range of colors on it because of course. And you got little buttons on the sides there. I'm assuming this means it's like a two player thing. And then along the top, there are different, I don't quite know what these are supposed to be, but they do seem to be representative of the different Ranger colors, possibly uh, indicators of like prizes or something like that. I don't know. And then this very ornate detailing up here. Very, very ornate. I like the gold color again. It's, it's very cool. And other than that, it's just a big box with uh, some junk around the back. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool. It's silly. I appreciate how goofy it is. Get off to the side there. Okay. Here he is with a standard size Transformers Deluxe. For a more appropriate, let's move this back a bit, for a more appropriate uh, Sentai comparison, here he is with the Titan Megazord or Maji King. For a Sentai figure comparison that's a little bit more... Oh, larger Sentai figure. Here he is with the Super Zeo Megazord. And of course, because, I mean, how could we not? Move that in a little bit more. Here he is with the Duck Tank. Okay, transformation time. And the first transformation is quite simple. First thing to do is pop these panels out in the back here. And those fold around and clip in here and here. These bits here just separate slightly. You can separate them way more if you want. So, you can do that. And lastly, this part's pretty cool. You slide the card out. There's a slot on the side here. When you turn it around, there are different eyes, different expressions you can do. 
So you can have regular looking datas, or you can have happy datas. And I do have another card that has uh, other expressions on it, but that's tucked away in my closet, so sorry. Angry and worried are the other two expressions that he's got. But yes, that is all it takes to put Datus in his little adorable robot mode, and this thing is so cute. You know, all pretty much everything from the center here is the same as the arcade cabinet mode, but he does get that very cute little facial expression card in the uh, there's the other one, you can see in detail how they look, and it's just, you know, it's ovals, but <laughs> still, it adds something. I appreciate that. And also, I think this may actually be one of, if not the only Super Sentai toy that allows you to change the facial expressions of the figure. And it's a simple but surprisingly clever gimmick. And then for the arms, they're very ornate. It's like same blue that you see along the sides here, but then that really nice gold trim. It's got some very detailed stuff going on the inside there. Black around the forearms with some nice gold banding there, and then the tiny little white fists with arrows for some reason. I really like this. Again, it's like this cute, unassuming thing that turns into an even bigger, cooler looking robot, which we will get into after we do our size comparisons. And I know, realistically, doing size comparisons are probably silly because he doesn't actually gain any height whatsoever when you go from the arcade cabinet to this, but that gives you an idea of how he kind of bulks out a little bit, I guess. So yeah, here he is with a standard deluxe with the Titan Megazord, or Maji King, whichever you prefer, with the significantly larger Super Zeo Megazord. There we go. And with the Duck Tank. Okay, now that that is over with, we can move on to the final mode for this guy. He does have a combined mode with the uh, other Gosager mecha, but I don't have any of the other Gosager mecha, so we're not going to do that. To get him into his hyper mode, I'm going to pop off these bits in the back here, fold down these little flaps, and this just rotates around and plugs into the port down here. And then we do the same thing on this side, pop that out, fold that down, turn it around and plug it in here, and then you can of course adjust the legs to different degrees. I prefer the closer one for the bigger robot mode because it just looks a little bit awkward if you spread them out that much. So click it in like that. Then for the arms, I bring these forward just to get the room to, uh, to do this. You want to flip this piece around so the smaller fist goes around and this bigger fist and longer forearm comes out. So you can see the change there. And do the same thing here. And these flaps on the side come up, give him a taller shoulder base. This entire piece up here comes down and forms a chest plate. Bring in the header, and this plugs in right up here. Just plugs in like that, and there is his face. And then back here to split this apart like so, and that gives him his big crowny thing. And there, there we have Datus in his hyper mode, and this is pretty cool. He's a little bit boxy in the midsection, but I actually really appreciate how kind of neat this is and how you get this out of this goofy looking little arcade cabinet with arms. Definitely, definitely boxy though, as I said. And that's not just a joke because he's wearing boxing gloves. And starting from the bottom, his feet are definitely weird. They're like this kind of half cylinder shape with the ports right on top, which looks a little bit goofy. But given what he has to do for the combined mode with the Ghost Sager stuff, that's kind of understandable. You get a little bit of additional silver detailing in the feet there. And let's pull this out so you can see it a little bit better. Some of that silver and gold striping going down the shins, which is a carryover from this. So I like how that kind of continues the line. And again, this is kind of similar to the regular Datus and the arcade cabinet mode. Same thing for the forearm sections here, which are now wrist cuffs rather than uh, actual like full forearms. Then there is the addition of the boxing gloves that just adds a nice little splash of red to the arms. And this really nicely detailed, very ornate kind of gold uh, crest on the top of the gloves. That's kind of nice. 
And of course the forearm, or biceps rather, are silver. And I like how these just completely change the look of the arm, where it goes from like a smaller, more compact arm to a much bigger, longer arm with like a big shoulder pad thing. That's a neat effect. It does create the issue of uh, like the arm kind of looking a little bit weird when you angle it too far, but it's not that bad. And if you just angle it out like this, it looks fine. But I think that's a really cool trick. The chest is also really cool. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I like the detailing. I like the metallic red around the outside. This whole gold and green and red stuff going on in the center here is cool. And this is actually, if I can remove it, there we go. This is actually the helmet for, uh, I think it's Hyper Gose, Go Hyper Gose Great, maybe? I think it's Hyper Gose Great, I don't know. And this just like plugs on to the combined mode head, but like I appreciate how it's a helmet, but it still works as like this ornate head crest design, which I can't get back on for some reason. Hang on. There we go. And yeah, I don't know, it's like, once you see that it's a helmet, you can kind of see the upside down helmet, but it does still kind of read like just an ornate chest design, and that's pretty cool. It sticks out pretty far. I mean, he does also have kind of a shelf belly going on, but uh, still, I think it's pretty cool. It adds some nice kind of design to the chest there. It covers up the eyes that are still under there, which you could flip around, but like you really can't see it from most angles, so it's fine. And yeah, it's just, it's neat. And it even adds a little bit of blue right around the border there. And as for the head, the DX Hyper head is surprisingly neat. I mean, the ornate swooshy crown thing is a bit much, but the face itself looks pretty cool. I like the kind of serious faceplate, red eyes, like it's just that really nice silver with that splash of red, it pops really well. And of course the silver next to the gold works really well too. And it's got that ornate crest that you see continued, like also on the boxing gloves and on the uh, underside on the front of the uh, cabinet there. And it's also cool how when this is open, you get this line of gold going all the way across to give it that more complete crown look. Like I said, it's a bit much in how it sticks out, but still very neat. So yeah, Data's Hyper is pretty darn cool. I really, really dig this mode. And again, it's that whole thing of like something kind of goofy and unassuming looking becoming something much cooler looking that's just uh, it hits that sweet spot for me. Now for a more relevant size comparison than uh, what we had with the smaller robot mode, you can see that once you put those legs in place, he gets a fair bit taller. He doesn't get much taller at the head compared to the thing at the top, that deco being flipped up, because that thing's pretty tall as well, but definitely gets some height from what is now the knees down. There he is with the Titan Megazord slash Maji King, and you can see that he's, in this mode, not insignificantly taller than uh, the smaller end, not smaller end, but like the slightly smaller size Megazords. And here he is next to the Super Zeo Megazord that I consider to be one of the larger ish, not not like super train mega size, but like, you know, generally larger sized Megazords, and he's only slightly shorter. Might actually be the same height if you go from the top of his crown to the top of the Super Zeo Megazord's head, just ignoring the, the crest itself. And of course, here he is, towering over the duct tank. And there we go, that'll do it for Datus Hyper from Ghost Sager. As I said probably several times now, I'm not super into Ghost Sager as a whole. Most of the toys don't particularly appeal to me. Datus Hyper is the exception though. I really like this guy. He's goofy and silly, but that just sort of enhances the more serious looking hyper robot mode. And I mean, aside from like the color stuff and just the basic whatever control thing going on down there, this almost seems like it could be a completely different toy. It doesn't quite feel like that silly looking little robot turns into this. I appreciate that. I think that's cool. He's definitely got some issues, but you know, he's, he's got to combine with other stuff and limitations are what they are. But for my purposes and for that very specific soft spot that I have for silly looking things that turn into cool looking robots, this definitely hits the, uh, the right buttons for me. But that is going to do it for DX Datus Hyper. What do you all think of this guy? Whatever your thoughts, feel free to chime in down below. I always enjoy hearing from you all. And remember, art is more than meets the eye.